there, I'm Jeanette Lane for Die Cutting Essentials, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for an alternate, like, snail mail, pen pal, fun mail. <laughs> Instead of a card to send to a friend or a loved one, you can create this little adorable, um, what is it? What would you call it? Like a little keepsake to send to somebody. It's really fun, and I'm going to be using the piece by piece 11 piece die set, uh, die that's included with the issue. So let's get started. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna be working with the piece by piece die set. And this set is really fun. It's a jigsaw puzzle. And you can create um, little individual jigsaw puzzle pieces or you can kind of keep them as a whole. Uh, there's so many ideas inside of issue 54, so make sure to check out the inspiration from the design team. It's absolutely stunning. And along with the issue, you also get some free printables. So you can download these, print them up as many times as you need. And those are available on the Papercraft Magazine uh, website and you can, I'll make sure to link that for you, sorry. So let's uh, get started. I'm going to grab a photograph that I printed, pre-printed. So here I have this pre-printed photograph of me and my lovey uh, in Greece, great trip. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is use the jigsaw die to create a puzzle out of this photograph. And then what I've done is put it in this clear bag and kind of made like a shaker card. So I can give this to him on our anniversary that's coming up actually. And then he can uh, just open it up and put the pieces together. And it's just a little fun keepsake memento. It's a great alternative to a card. So I hope that you like this tutorial. So yeah, here are all the pieces and then you can put it together. And um, I think it would just be a really fun alternative to a card. So first thing we're going to do is grab one of our pre-printed papers and we're going to flip over our picture and just glue it to the back side so that you don't have a plain back white background. And I'm going to grab my adhesive and glue this down. My backing paper is on my photograph, so you can flip that over and see. And I'm going to trim this down so that it fits through my die cutting machine. I'm going to be using a Sizzix Big Shot fold away today, so um, I definitely have to trim this down to at least six inches wide. But if you have a large format machine, then you don't have to trim this. You can just go straight to die cutting. But I need to make sure that this all fits. So just trimming off this excess. And now I'm going to grab my puzzle piece here, my puzzle die, and I'll put that right on top of our faces like that. That will do, and then I will washi tape that. So here I have my washi tape. I'll just put that right here to secure it to my photograph. And here is my die cutting machine. And we're just gonna run that through. Okay, so when I remove the washi tape and the die, we have all the pieces to our puzzle. It looks a little bit creepy when you separate it, but when it comes together, you have your photograph and then the backside has that beautiful uh, patterned print. So that is ready to go. So now all I have to do is grab my uh, little baggie that I'm gonna be using. So these, I believe you can buy them probably somewhere online. But what I've done is just grabbed an old stamp set that I wasn't using and just used that. So we can start filling up our little bag with all sorts of little bits. So I'm gonna put these puzzle pieces in here and then I'm gonna grab some sequins as well. And also I have pre-die cut some of these uh, dies here in different colors and I'm going to add that as well as part of my shaker, my little shaker bag. So here are those little uh, die cuts that I've die cut from all the little dies included in the piece by piece gift set. So fun. Uh, what I love about these smaller dies is that you can use up your scraps in your paper stash. It makes me feel like a responsible citizen of the world when I can use up my scraps to sew. There is that. And now I want to put a little backing card. You can leave this clear if you want. Um, I wanted to add this gorgeous print here. So what we're going to do is just trim this down so it fits. 
and depending on the bag that you're using for this will depend on how uh, wide you cut this. So we're just going to trim this down. So I'll grab a pencil and just make a little mark here and then trim off the excess. Okay, so there's my pencil mark and I'm just going to trim this. And you can save that, definitely save that for a future project. And then we can slide our backing card in there. So the sticky part is on the back, so I'm going to put it in like this so that the front side has the pattern print. And you should probably maybe put the backing card in first. That would make more sense, but that's all right. Okay, so there we have it, and you can see this one is just a little bit smaller. So what I've done is I've just trimmed off the excess. You can leave it like this if you want. Uh, completely up to you, but I will be kind of making this a little bit smaller, maybe about there. I'll trim that off, but before that, let's get to the next step. So now it's time to make our little uh, decorative topper, our bag closure. So I have a piece of uh, cardstock here and I've trimmed this down to the width of the bag. And what we're going to do is score it in half so that we can kind of have like a, a little holder for it. So first I need to trim off this excess because I want this a lot, um, a lot smaller. So I'll probably trim my bag right about there. and our little bag closure will make sure that none of the contents slip out of the top. So I want that maybe there. That looks good. All right, so then I'm going to make a mark on the opposite side of where I'm going to score that. And if you want this, um, topper piece bigger than obviously just score it so that you have a wider uh, decorative strip here, like more space for you to decorate that little strip. So I'm scoring that. It looks like it's at two inches. And then when I fold that, I have this excess here that I need to trim off. So there is my little bag closure. And now I'm going to glue it down to my bag to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm gonna use uh, my sticks to tape runner because this adhesive isn't very tacky. Uh, so it'll easily open if, um, if you need to like just get back in there and put some more little um, sequins if you want then definitely recommend using this tape runner because it'll just be easy to peel open versus using a liquid adhesive. So that's what it looks like. And now it's time to decorate our little strip here with um, more of the printables and also some more of these little die cuts included in the gift. So we're gonna make a mat for this and I'm gonna use, this is the printable, one of the printable designs as well. So I'm just gonna trim that there. All right, so there I have my little um, mat for my topper, my bag closure, sorry. And then what I've done is pre-cut a bunch of these little die cuts. They're so cute. All these little puzzle pieces and little extras so that I can decorate my closure. So we're going to attach this first. Now it's time, this is the best part, is decorating this little strip here. So I've got that puzzle piece and I wanna put a butterfly on it. And there's so many little elements in here. Uh, the set is great, it's like an all occasion set. So you can do it for birthdays or anniversaries like in my case. So I'm just gonna use that bottom butterfly there. So that'll be that piece there. And then I have these florals and I wanted to make kind of build a little dimensional flower. So I've cut them multiple times. I'm just gonna glue those together. Kind of furl the leaves here a little bit, curl them, sorry. Then just layer them on top. 
So I wanted to make my puzzle piece really pop and my puzzle piece and my little flower that I built there. So I'm gonna use some foam tape just so that it, I just like it, it makes it, gives it a little extra touch to add some foam tape. So we'll just put that on the corner there. And then the flower will go on the opposite corner. And then I've die cut some of these beautiful leaves also from the piece by piece gift set included in the issue. And we will just tuck those kind of behind the flower. I think I should have glued those down first, but no worries, I can just peel those off. And now I can add my sentiment. This is also from the die set. So I'm just gonna add that with love there and then put some gemstones in the center of my flower for a little sparkle. So there is my completed baggie with some little gemstones that I've added for a little sparkle. And you can have a lot of fun just decorating this little strip. Here is one that I made previously and you can see just a different, gives it a different look when you use the different printables that are, that you can download from the Papercraft Magazine's website. So a really fun little tutorial. Hope that you enjoyed it and that you're inspired to try it for yourself. Now don't forget to pick up your copy of Die Cutting Essentials issue 54. You can get that at craftstash.co.uk or mags.com and at your local grocery stores and newsstands. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.